Hey guys, it's DuconRed1 and welcome to the 1.13 Vanilla Conquest update video. Yes, your cries have been heard. Monsterfish has answered your prayers. We are here. It has uh, been not too long since the 1.13 uh, official update, but uh, Monsterfish was um, not inspired yet. But uh, finally, he has gotten around to it and has created quite the extraordinary... Uh, work as per uh, usual for any of his updates uh, there's a lot of always really cool things so let's get right into this and see what there is first of all we have revamped um, ne not necessarily new textures but just um, there was some mapping issues with the dragon eggs and also with the beacons those have been addressed and fixed Next, what we have is before there was an issue with the inner side of the cauldron. Apparently, you would have been able to see down into that. That has been fixed and done. Same thing with uh, now we have biome-specific flower pots, but uh, that's just for another day, I suppose. Also, the 3D models for the rails have been revised. So now we have... Uh, the deactivator rails, the whatever these are called, powered rails and normal rails all now have a fancy little texture to, um, well, make your roller coasters and mine shafts a little bit more interesting, I suppose. Now, moving on over to here, by the way, this is the Conquestium, uh, but we'll be going into there here soon. Um, next, what we have is striped, I'm sorry, stripped logs and trap doors as well. I'm not sure if you guys, uh, well, you guys are probably aware, but the dark oak, um, you have this trapdoor, the acacia, you have this trapdoor here. This, I think, is the oak trapdoor, and that's spruce. If we go over here, this is birch, and then this one is acacia. Um, I'm pretty sure this one got mixed up here, uh, the striped oak log. But anyways, I'm sure that uh, you guys will be able to figure that out. Trapdoors and stripped logs are now a thing. All you gotta do is take an axe and right click, bam, and you got yourself a stripped log. So really cool there. Now moving on over to this side, we now have what are called, what are these called? Carved pumpkins. Um, it's a really neat little uh, new thing, but I, I mean, it's vanilla, so it's, you obviously uh, already know um, that it's a thing, but uh, in Conquest, you now have these nice little textures where you just gotta go up to a pumpkin and bam, with a shear, and it spits up some uh, throw up there, some barf. And uh, you now have um, carved pumpkins and jack-o'-lanterns as well. So neat new thing there, I suppose. But uh, let's go ahead and head inside the Conquestium here and see what we got to see. There's a lot of neat stuff in here. So uh, Monsterfish has created this rather neat um, command block entrance for us to enter into the main lobby and uh, we are um, greeted by this lovely fellow here we're going to call him Bert um, and Bert is going to hand us a gold or we're going to give him a gold coin and he is well we can't even hear um, anyways there's your gold coin there Bert and so now we have permission to go through the metal detector and uh, no beeps there. So now we are inside. So let's go ahead and see what we have. First, we have um, item textures. Uh, we have the dried kelp, the kelp. We have the nautilus shell, the phantom membrane, and the scute. Um, so those are just all little new textures uh, for the items and whatnot. And then over here, you have the heart of the sea, which is that cute little seahorse, as you can tell there. Um, you got the bucket of tropical fish. Bucket of Cod, Bucket of Salmon, and Bucket of Pufferfish. Really neat textures there. Beautifully done. Next, we have the Sea Turtles. Really neat texture there. Um, you got the little cute baby ones down there. And, of course, the big mama turtle. You don't want to mess with her. She will flatten you into a pancake. Um, and then, of course, we got the Hearts of the Sea in here. Now, these things are not um, actual animals or anything. Um, that is done with um, uh, invisible armor stands but uh they are only items but uh, i'm sure you guys are aware of how the heart of the sea works you put them into a conduit and you have yourself a nice little thingy there so we are now in the giant aquarium tank here and this fully uh 
demonstrates the beauty of uh, what you have here uh, in the aquatic update. Um, so on the round the sides, we have all this dead coral, and uh, it seems we have a dolphin which has escaped its enclosure by a long, long, long way. His enclosure is past that wall over there, so he has definitely been a busy dude um, exploring the conquest. Team. Conquestium, yeah, that's what it's called. The Conquestium has been exploring the <laughs> whatever. Anyways, um, let's turn some shaders on, and I'm going to show you guys the inside of this beautiful tank. All right, so as you can see, it is absolutely gorgeous in here. The aquatic update just adds so much variety and just beautiful colors. You got these little sea pickles there, and you got these tropical fish swimming around. So many beautiful textures. I mean, look at this. Look at these fish. These are all textures that Monster Fish has done of course, and has created just incredible, incredible stuff. It seems that some of the fish died again, because last time I was in this tank, there was a lot more fish, if I remember correctly. But anyways, there's salmon and all kinds of other things and whatever else, but anyways, um, it seems like the fish are not, uh, they don't like the aquarium so much, so they uh, decide to, to kill themselves, which is a uh, very sad story. But uh, that is that. We're going to keep moving on uh, and into the dolphin exhibit. Um, as you can see, the dolphins have this really neat texture there. Uh, let's see if we can actually see one. And they keep getting blown up out of the water by these bubbles. Uh, if you put the, um, what are that, soul sand at the bottom or in the water, it creates these bubbles. But anyways, really, really neat there. Uh, but yeah, these texture, the texture of the dolphin is really well done. Um, looks as realistic as you're going to get it in Minecraft, I suppose. But uh, yeah, really, really good texture there. Fantastic job by Monsterfish. So down here we have the conduit. Um, if you put that little, uh, those two little seahorse things in there, it makes the thing go whatever it does, and that's what happens. And so yeah, that's the conduit. So I have no clue how that all works. Uh, but that's what it is. So here is Blue Ice. Uh, I'm not sure if you guys are aware, but uh, Blue Ice was added in. Also, we have the dried kelp block. I'm sure that this will actually make for really nice um, a texture for like, you know, wrapped up uh, grass, like hay for um, like, you know, cows, like a neat detail uh, that you could do is like in fields, like maybe they're um, getting bundles of hay for their horses or whatever. And so they would start out with like you know kind of green like that and then it would dry over time and become yellow as what hay is but anyways um that's just an idea but it's dried kelp so that's what the texture is supposed to be so now we head in here and this is the experimentation chamber uh as we see these very disgustingly horrific creatures known as the drowned i think but we're gonna just call them drowners uh because uh that just is it rolls off the tongue a little bit easier but uh, as you can see, they have these neat little tridents there, which is actually a really neat thing. I really love this fu this functionality. You can actually throw these things. This is so awesome. Like this is like a functionality that should have been added in a long time ago. But um, if you guys are not aware, well, we'll get up uh, later on. We'll talk about that. But yeah, like, oh man, it's just this is really cool. And I hope that uh, we get a lot more stuff like that in the future. But uh, yeah, the drowned. Needs a little thing there. So um, now we're going to head into the planetarium. Um, all right, so just give me a second here. There we go. Okay, so now we can actually see everything. And then, yes, we do have a monster fish sitting on his throne up on top of one of the exhibits. So uh, we will slowly make our way that way and hope he doesn't ambush us. So um, as you guys are aware, phantoms are now a thing in uh, this update, and these things are quite the monsters. I was playing some survival not too long ago, and we'll say that I did not have a very, um, I did not have a fun time with them. They, uh, they do not like me. They do not like me, and uh, I don't like them. So it's a mutual feeling, and I would prefer to stay away from them if at all possible. The chicken models have been revised. They are skinnier now. Um, no longer fat, plump chickens. They are now skinny and fit, and they are uh, a lot more tender. So uh, no more fat chickens. Uh, next, we have new sheep heads. As you can see here, a uh, really neat new um, texture there. Adds a lot more... Um, of a neat little effect there on the sheep moving on we have the pigs and uh, This is just a normal pig texture here 
and it just adds that nice little pig uh, look there. And of course, you have little tusks there on some of them to indicate males. Well, I think they all have them, actually. I don't know. Nope. See, that's a female pig right there. It doesn't have a tusk. So now moving on, we have what's called the gut piercer name tag. All you would have to do is grab or find a skeleton, rather, and you would take a name tag called gut piercer and you would put it on and it makes them into that texture right there. Now, this is how it works. If a skeleton ever happens to be in the nether, it's always going to be that texture right there. But if it is in the normal overworld, it's going to look like that. But if you want, for some odd reason, maybe you're in creative and you just want to have a neat little thing, uh, maybe you want that texture, all you need to do is take the gut piercer name tag and put it on a skeleton, and there you go. Next, we have a boar. It adds this nice little back thing there. This is uh, what you would typically expect of a boar, and some of them do have tusks. So that adds a nice little detail as well. They are biome specific versus the pig. The pig is biome specific as well um, in certain biomes and the boar is in others. Uh, but anyways, they are the same thing. They're still just pigs, but um, just different textures. Next, what we have is the gut slasher. You rename um, a name tag gut slasher. You put it onto a wither skeleton and you get this texture. Now, this is the thing. This is the new wither skeleton texture all the time. Like, this is it. This this is what you're going to see in the nether. But if it just so happens to make its way into the overworld, that's what it's going to look like right there. The normal, um, original nether or wither skeleton texture. So now we're going to keep making our way down through here, and we have spiders. Check this out. Um, so this here is the Watcher. This uh, spider right there that looks real scary. Um, now, this is what a spider will always look like in the end. But now you have the functionality to be able to make any overworld spiders into the watcher. You simply take the watcher name tag, you put it on a spider, and bam, you got yourself a nice little watcher spider. So, um, yeah, so all you gotta do is just rename the name tag, run up to a spider, name it, and run away. Uh, whoever would do that, um, you know, all power to you. If that's something you wanna do, is rename spiders and make them look scarier, that's. That's your thing. So um, another thing is cow models have been revised. They are now longer and also the head has been um, fixed a little bit so that its functionality is a little less glitchy. So it doesn't, um, look, a, doesn't look so conky, I suppose, when it's looking around. Um, so anyways, that's another fix as well. So last but not least, we do have more weapons and shields that has been added into Conquest. Now, what you guys are probably wondering is do we actually have to watch through all of these videos just to see all the things that have been added into the weapons and armor? And I am here to tell you, no. There are official spreadsheets of all of the armors and weapons and shields on these neat little spreadsheets in the description below that you can check out. We're just gonna go over this really quick and then you guys can look in the description below at those spreadsheets and be able to decide as to what you wanna do. Now the functionality of these are really simple. You simply take a uh, either a sword or an ax and you rename it to whatever this says, so stone spear. You just take a sword or an ax and you rename it to stone spear and then that's the texture it'll look like and that's what it'll look like in your hand. Um, so it's really, really simple, really easy to use, it's really awesome. So let's go ahead and start. We have a large ax, stone spear, deo sword, trident, dwarven spear, dwarven greatsword, dwarven dagger, dark battle axe, dark axe, imperial mace, viking axe, thorgrim axe. <laughs> Next, we move into some tools here. Steel spade, bronze spade, steel hoe, bronze hoe. And now into some shields. We have the uh, big round bird shield, big round triscal shield, big round red shield, conquest heater sharp shield, bone shield, big round red black shield. A little more weapons here. We have the bronze dagger, the bronze blade, the bronze axe, and a few more shields. We have the big round world blue shield, big round world red white shield, the big round world red shield, 
the big round whirl yellow white shield, big round whirl yellow shield, big round yellow black shield, big round blue shield. And last but not least, we have a few miscellaneous tools. We have the bronze pickaxe, the steel pickaxe, the chisel, tongs, and a shepherd's staff. And then we have um, revised ingots. So you take a ingot um, and you rename it to steel ingot or bronze ingot for whatever reasons or purposes that you would need or want to do that with. And also, guess what? Um, now we have pitchforks and angelic forks now have functionality to be thrown. Also with spears, I'm pretty sure it can be thrown as well. So you take one of these, you go ahead and look around at that little hay bale and bam. Oh man, I'm a terrible shot. Oh my gosh, wow. There we go, all right, I can settle with that. No more embarrassing myself. But anyways, it is awesome. This whole update is just incredible. I love um, the whole aquatic update and everything that has been added in. Uh, again, Conquest, Reforge, I'm sorry, not Reforge, Conquest, Vanilla Conquest is going forward and will always be going forward as long as you guys are providing support to this man right there. That man, he is the guy that is making all of this possible. So, if you want to continue seeing this happen, support him. His Patreon is in the description below. Support him. Go, you know, spend maybe five bucks, I don't know, one buck a month, I don't care. Anything helps. Um, it will really make a big difference and uh, he would really appreciate any support, any monetary support you would able would be able to provide uh, him in order to keep him going. But uh, yes, Conquest is, uh, oh wow, look at that, the fish are back. <laughs> um, but anyways, it's just a really awesome experience and uh, really having a great time um, uh, doing these and uh, seeing each of these updates and just enjoying the textures that he has been able to create. So I hope you guys enjoyed this uh, Conquestium update. Uh, for vanilla 1.13, uh, the aquatic update. And again, all of these textures are on spreadsheets down below in the description. Go check that out. And so you don't have to go through my videos and listen to me blabber all the time about each of the textures. But um, yes, all of that is in the description below. So with that being said, guys, have a great day. Have a great night. Don't forget to hit this uh, the like button. Subscribe and comment. Would love to see what you guys have to say. And I will see you on the next video. Till then, uh, bye bye. <laughs>